And then uh, once the base kind of white is put on, we're just going to go with some slightly darker colors. Just want to come across here and show you what type of leaf possible that can be created using. Oh, seriously. Uh, and just going to pan in over here see a few of these lacing effects uh, sort of holes and cells that are created with the resi blast so uh, okay just gonna come straight back out again so a couple of pieces around here uh, all made with pigmented resin so not all entirely with the resi blast but um, similar techniques so Back to the work in progress. So you can see, um, using the Resiblast is all about layering techniques and using different colors um, alongside each other, nearby each other, um, which maximizes the effect when you do add, you get to add the Resiblast. Looking good so far. Just come a bit close up here and see some of the textures we're forming already. green just to splash a bit of coastal colors to it. And then around here. Um, so we got 17 colors in the range um, so there's no limit to what you can do, what effects you can create, it's really just down to imagination. So once again I'll just come up and show you sort of what these products can do um, or what products we're using rather. This range here, all mixed with the Mastercast. Um, obviously, the magic stuff that does that effect, which I'm going to show you soon, is uh, the Resi Blast media. So that's the stuff that we're going to be applying once we're happy with the way the initial pigments look. So, so this product is obviously only applied at the end when you've got your colours, your desired patterns and shapes. Uh, and this is the one that's going to create lots of unusual effects. So the quick blast of heat has uh, just removed any air bubbles, the mixing bubbles. Uh, also just uh, smooths out the resin, lowers the viscosity, and just helps it to spread a little bit easier. Um, movement is very important when you come to use this dispersion agent. Um, and the more viscous or the less viscous the resin is the viscous. Are you ready to do the reservoir? Yeah. Right, so while Natasha decides to wear it, wants to drop in the resi blast, and normally it's normally it's in places exactly where the colours meet and the colours join. So I'll pan in while she's doing it, and let's uh, have a look at the effect. Okay. Should start seeing quite a lot of development of cells that are starting to work their way outwards. A really cool pattern. There's a bit more. Let's focus on those green ones. Some yellow movement. 
Let me get some more on this side here. Can you just hold it there, Sektash? One second. Yep. Okay, move away. Right, so to the more so the way you choose your position is gonna determine the amount of colours that get dragged along get put into the cellular development. Let's have another go over here. Right. Maybe some over here on that edge there. So you see the white is moving outwards and it's taking some of the green and the yellow with it. So if I pan out, you can see just how our picture has been transformed immediately from sort of regular patterned lines to these much more cellular shaped. There's some really good movement there. Focus on these two for a second. Maybe another drop on the yellow here, maybe near this one here. Oops. I think maybe just in the middle between those two there. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, perfect. So they're going to run up alongside each other. Just close that gap off. Okay, so any questions or comments or sort of um, inquiries, I think you can post straight to this feed. Otherwise, it will be on the Resin Artist page for a few minutes. Thank you very much. Lovely assistant, Natasha. And we will catch you later. Cheers. Bye.